Here we are guys. We're up on a bit of a high spot today. This is another, well, yet another Roman site, but he hasn't really ploughed this this year. But as you can see on the top there, you got a bit of rubble. This is the site of probably a little Roman farmstead. As you can see it's a bit darker up in this corner. Uh, been searching up here for an hour and I've uh, just managed to bag a Roman coin just here amongst the stonework. Ah, uh, see in the shallow hole here, you got like a quite a half reason, uh, legible Roman coin at least. Uh, this is probably going to be one of them late ones, uh, probably third century again, because there's a lot of these, a lot of these sites in Wiltshire tend to be the uh, later sites. But you can see, look at all this lot in the ground. Got an hour or so yet before it gets dark. See if we can get someone else. Signal down here, look. We're right amongst the rocks down here. Look, some quite big, sizable pieces come out, but oh, you shot signal down there. Now look, flip one right at the uh, shallow depths. Look, you're either going to get them on the top or you're not going to get them at all. Look, look at that. Uh, again, that's another late one. Uh, Looks like there's something on that one as well, so the fertilizers haven't had so much to uh, much of an effect up here, that's pretty good. Um, oh, I've got a feeling I'll probably get a couple more. Brilliant. Yeah, it's bloody ridiculous. You sort of come on here, and sometimes they're deep, but there's another one right on the top. You don't have to dig them because uh, I think the rain's washed a lot of the soil. See, the stones are pretty on the surface there, but if you look there, you don't dig this one because. Uh, is right on the top look it's a probably a Roman grot but they all count number three ah there you go first hour I come here didn't get bugger all but look at that look amazing gold max is coping very well getting a few signals at the top just uh, by that uh, some big stones up here and a beautiful signal down there That's going to be a bit of lead or a coin. There we go. There you go, look. Then a Roman coin. That's quite uh, probably the biggest one of the day, actually. And uh, so that's coin number four. Uh, a little bit worn than the others, but it's getting late up here now. Uh, amongst this rubble, this is where all the coins are coming up. A, I think there's a bit of an old trackway on the side of the field, but... Ah, wonderful. Wonderful. It's nice to get, uh, considering I come up on here, I come up on this bit uh, last year. Uh, I thought I cleaned it out, but it just goes to show you, doesn't it? Can't afford to be too arrogant. Uh, gold marks today. Well, same as last time, really. Uh, using a bit more reject, uh, so I don't want to dig too many signals, uh, not too many uh, iffy ones. I just want to get the clear ones today because the crop's on and uh, don't want to dig too many holes. Iron volume can come down a bit, midway on the ground, and sensitivity one o'clock. As you can see, what a bloody uh, the, the weather has been so bad this year, it's just you know, you don't need to plow it, you just you see these bloody look at that boulder there, look. That's a piece of Roman building there, right out from the depths. Brilliant. I've had a couple of, before it gets dark, I've had about four or five Roman coins here. I'll just get them out and show you. A couple of, there we go, four, probably six of them there, uh, plus a token. Wonderful, I'll get back and we'll wash them and see if we've got anything interesting. Thank you very much. This afternoon, that site was quite kind to me. As you can see, I managed to get this nice little follis of uh, the House of Constantine uh, pretty early on, on the uh, surface of the field. Never had to dig it, but as you can see, it's got a really beautiful bust. How it survived all those centuries uh, in that uh, rock-strewn field, God alone knows, but you can see it's in um, really good order. But the other, um, out of the five coins I have to show you, I thought this was, uh, was probably one of the more fascinating. It got two figures on the prow of a ship. But what makes it more a little bit more uh, interesting and out of the ordinary is it's got a letter A above the uh, above the prow, 
whether this is a countermark or not, I don't know. But as you can see, when I turn them over, the bust is a little bit nibbled, but uh, it's still pretty reasonable. You can see there's quite a large letter A behind his uh, bust as well. Whether this is uh, done locally, uh, whether it's a local mint that's just uh, stamped that, I don't know. Whether it's, it's some sort of a countermark in itself, we'll have to record it with a PAS. Um, the other coin of note was this really interesting coin of Corolsius, the usurper. As you can see, you've got Fide standing. Uh, the C below would mean that it comes from the Colchester Mint. And um, not probably a rare coin in itself, but if you look very closely, you can see that the C for Corolsius, it's got two C's for Corolsius, Imp CC, which is a little bit strange, but um, it looks like they've... Uh, the the die stamper was a bit illiterate when he came to make this coin, so as you can see, it's clearly got the two C's there on the, um, which makes it a little bit more um, above the average. And um, the other coins were just, I say, just pretty out. Of, nothing extraordinary, but another there's another Constantine again. Look, but uh, about three, the site would date to about three to three eighty, uh, probably just right at the decline of the Roman Empire. Got a altar there, and um, the other one was a bit nibbled, but as you can see it's got uh, got like a castle gates there, which is in pretty good order. And the other coin, the other side of the coin, unfortunately, looks like it's been attacked by the fertilizer. But um, all in all, some very interesting coins, and a nice day detecting. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.